Hey, good evening, folks. It's the Purple Ladder, and today we're discussing Still Waiting. And this is a song review. We're continuing with 1979 and the 40th anniversary of the 1979 self titled album Prince, and today is Still Waiting, the third single from the album. Yeah, like I always do, I dive right into it with a little info, a little history behind it, and Still Waiting was the third U.S. single from Prince's second album, uh, Prince, self-titled album Prince. It was Prince's first ballad to be released as a single and was mildly popular on the R&B charts, reaching number 65. The ballad peaks from the perspective of a young man who hasn't yet found love but yearns for it. The track is mainly piano, acoustic guitar, and synth bass and was often played live with extended instrumental solos and audience teasing. The song is a more traditional R&B ballad before Prince established himself with the trademark sexual romps like Do Me Baby and International Lover. Yeah, the persona. <laughs> the song was remade by Rainy Davis in 1987 and appeared on her album Sweetheart. Her version was also released as a single and charted higher than Prince's version on the R&B chart reaching number 41. British female duo Dorothy covered the song in 1988 peaking at number 81 on the UK singles chart. Yeah, Bambi, the B-side of the song was the album track rocker. Bambi in Belgium, Bambi was released as a single with Still Waiting as the B-side. Yeah, this single was released March 25th, 1980, it recorded April, June, 1979 through June, Alpha Studios, Burbank, California. Yeah, length, 3 minutes, 48 seconds, albums, 4 minutes, 24 seconds. Warner Brothers. Mm. Yeah, uh, I... Let me give you my perspective. I liked this song back in the day when I first purchased this album back in 1990. Couldn't stop listening to it, but I slowed down listening to it. But it's still a great, great ballad. Still a bluesy kind of a great Prince ballad. And like I said, it don't go with the song later, like Do Me Baby and International Lover. But it still goes with those early ballad Prince had had on his early albums like Baby and uh, It's Gonna Be Lonely. And a hey, great tune. What can you say about this song? Uh, it fits in to the Prince self-titled album, which was going for a more commercial sound. Prince needed a commercial hit. And this song goes with that clean commercial song sound that Prince was aiming at just to get a, a commercial hit until the persona really took off. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, great, great tune. So you know, I'm rating this tune. I give it a, a, a eight. Great song. I give it an eight. And like I said, it fits perfectly in the album in between on that side, second side, it really, it takes off, you know, I wouldn't put it in my top 25 as, you know, Prince ballads, but it gets, it gets play. It's on, it's on my playlist. Yeah. I, I listen to it today, but Hey, that's just my perspective you know you guys have your own perspective of what's going down but yeah this is just coming from the purple ladder so i'm gonna sign off and say peace god bless thank you subscribe to the purple ladder like comment and share and i'll be coming with more videos and more content thank you god bless you